Hello everyone, my name is Nuvala and welcome to another video. This week's video is the Sniffer Sanctuary. Next to this being a confined area to keep in your sniffers, it will also produce torch flowers and pitcher pots for you. Some of the most beautiful flowers in game if you ask me. You can find the material list in the description. So without further ado, let's go. Here you can see the dimensions on screen. And as you can see, this is not a perfect circle, nor is it a rectangle. It's an organic build. All you gotta do is find yourself a spot where you can build a gazebo, and then you can build an animal pen around it. We're going to start off by building the gazebo, on which the sniffer egg can hatch. Start off by placing stripped mangrove wood around the build. In between those you can place mangrove slabs as they stair up towards the platform. You can then fill in the platform using some bamboo blocks. You can use different types for it to have a little bit more detail. Once you've filled in the platform, you can place a moss block in the middle surrounded by mangrove trapdoors. This is the spot where we are going to hatch our sniffer eggs. Filler up four stripped mangrove wood on each of the corners. Connect those pillars using some bamboo slabs. On top, place moss blocks all around. Then make your way inwards, one block at a time, one block up at a time. In total, we need three levels. So the top level should be nine blocks, a three by three platform. You want to surround the lowest layer of moss blocks with alternating mangrove stairs and mangrove slabs. In each of the corners you should have a mangrove slab. Make your way all around the build. Then place mangrove fences underneath these corner slabs. And then connect the roof with the front side of your build using some bamboo fences. You can hang lanterns from each of the mangrove fences. On top of the roof, use mangrove stairs towards the middle of the roof. On top, place mangrove trapdoors with a mangrove slab in the middle. And on each of the corners, you can also place mangrove trapdoors like this. Finally, for the roof, use some bone meal on top of the moss blocks to create some grass. You can harvest all of the azalea saplings and destroy the tall grass. Otherwise it looks a little bit funky. When you are happy with the roof, you can make your way inside and surround the entire ceiling using upside down mangrove stairs. At the top of the ceiling, make a ring out of bamboo slabs and place a lantern in the middle. You now have the red the yellow and the green inside fully in theme with the sniffer. Time to work on the sniffer pen around the gazebo. Grab yourself some mud bricks and packed mud and create some walls around. Make sure that these are at least one and a half block tall, otherwise your sniffers will be able to escape. 
by placing some mud brick slabs on the ground as well gives you a little bit more of a worn down effect and as if it's been here for a while. Try to do this all around the build. You can then connect these mud walls using bamboo fences and on each side of the gazebo you can place a bamboo fence gate as well. In the end you should have a completely confined area in which your sniffers will be safe. It's now time to make your way from the fence gates towards the gazebo using some coarse dirt and dirt path. Place down some moss blocks in between these pathways and use some bone meal to spread the moss all around. You can even create a little pond on the side right here for your sniffers to drink some water from. Place some small drip leaves in the pond and use some pink petals all around to add more detail to your sniffer sanctuary. If you have some torch flowers already or if you have different flowers you can place these around the sanctuary as well. I also like to place some pitcher pots but Make sure that you don't place those next to the fences because your sniffers will be able to go over the fence in that way. Some of the final details are to create lamp posts around the build at each of the entrances. For this, place down a pot with two bamboo fences on top a mangrove stair on top of that with a bamboo fence attached to it, a mangrove trapdoor on top and a lantern hanging from the bamboo fence. After a while your sniffers will have dug up a lot of flower seeds, so you will want to have a place to store those seeds. You can make that at one of the entrances. I'm just giving you an example right here, but you can do whatever you want. You can also place any of your extra sniffer eggs in here. All that's left now is to grab one of your sniffer eggs, place this on the platform within the gazebo should see green particles because you're placing it on a moss block. All you gotta do now is wait. Now after a while, there you go, you should get a sniffer. Congratulations, you just got yourself a new friend. If you have some extra torch flower seeds, you can feed it to the little sniffer and you will get an advancement. Now at some point your sniffers will start sniffing, drop down and dig into the ground with their nose. And when they do, you get a chance on a torch flower seed or for a pitcher pot. Here you can see the pitcher pot and that's the torch flower. You can also use torch flower seeds to breed two grown up sniffers, create a new sniffer egg which you can then place on the platform in the middle. And there you go, that's your new sniffer sanctuary. Congratulations and enjoy! Now if you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below, leave any comments if you have any questions or suggestions and consider subscribing if you want to see more of these kind of videos. Have a great day and see you in the next one. Cheers!